from Asia's highest peaks to its valleys downstream, how people and wildlife are coping with climate change. Voices from the Roof of the World. One of the world's rarest animals hides in the misty bamboo forests of India's eastern Himalayas. This stunning yet endangered species is an ambassador for all the threatened wildlife of the Kanchenjunga region living under the world's third highest mountain. In trying to film and learn about Himalayan red pandas, I'm taken deep into the world of animal experts and the local people straddling the borders of India, Nepal, Bhutan and China. And their lives are increasingly precarious due to deforestation and climate change. So although this is a film about saving red pandas, it's also the story about the people who've dedicated their lives so we can all continue seeing red. Red pandas are almost impossible to study in the wild. They're found in treacherous parts of the eastern Himalayas, in India, Nepal, Myanmar, Bhutan and China. That's why my journey to document their lives begins in an Indian zoo in the shadow of the mighty Kanchenjunga mountain. As I walked through this wild, hilly zoo, I laid eyes for the first time on the endangered firefox. I spotted its amazingly bright red fur and a bushy ringed tail. A little bigger than a house cat, she stared at me for a second before repeatedly climbing up her favorite oak tree. I watched these shy creatures spend most of their days lounging in the trees, much like a lazy monkey. The slots of the Himalayas, red pandas sleep for 80% of their day. occasionally waking up to munch on their favorite food, bamboo. It's no wonder the name panda comes from the Nepali word ponya, meaning bamboo eater. Red panda is called uh, lesser carnivore because it's basically digestive system is that of a carnivore. But like majority it feeds on uh, bamboo. What are some of the characteristics of the red panda that make it special for you? So like they consume a uh, large quantity of uh, maling bamboo and other than that they consume uh, berries, some insects, the eggs of birds. So that's what makes them a bit uh, different from other species. Red pandas even have rare adaptations in the thumb, making it easier to grab and hold on to bamboo. They are one of the earliest mammals, so evolutionarily distinct they're the only living members of the Aluridae family. The Zoological Society of London describes them as an edge species, evolutionarily distinct and globally endangered. These are animals that look, live and behave like no others. Out in the wild, these seemingly docile creatures can be easily hunted by many natural predators but they have a brilliant trick up their sleeves. A rare ability to climb down trees, head first. One of the only animals in the world that can pull this off. So red pandas are endemic to this region. So like earlier, large number of red pandas in uh, this landscape. Recently, we have seen that in last century, over the decades, their number has been dwindling. So we have two protected areas, Singalila National Park and Neura Valley National Park. There are close to around 40 individuals each. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, there may be 10,000 red pandas in the wild today. 
But no one really knows. Their actual population may be lower than 2,500. Red pandas have been poached heavily in the past and suffer from an extremely fragmented habitat today. That's why the work of Dr. Baswaraj from Darjeeling Zoo is so important. We recorded more than around 90 species here. Wow. He's running India's largest and oldest red panda conservation breeding center. It's part of a global species management plan aiming to return endangered species to the wild. We select certain species which are local to this region and uh, whose numbers are dwindling or threatened in the natural habitat. So special conservation breeding is done to uh, conserve those species in the captivity and with the option of releasing them back into the wild. That's the real-life lab of some dedicated wildlife biologists who are working hard to save red pandas on their own often impregnable home turf. Momita Chakrabarti has spent the last few years studying red pandas in the wild, working with local communities every step of the way. I think all the connection grows from the childhood itself through exploring and exposure to the nature. Childhood was a memorable time for me because I saw uh, in, at my home itself many species like starting from birds, animals. So I used to sit with my grandparents, especially my grandpa. Local language may hai. He used to tell me the story even, what he has experienced in his life. So yeah, maybe my background actually helped me as a naturalist, as a like wildlife biologist. I visited Momita in Siliguri, where she lives with her husband Saurav, who runs Red Panda tours on the India-Nepal border. Their connection goes back a long way. Thanks to Saurav, Momita saw red pandas in the wild for the first time and fell in love with both of them. I have been into Singalila National Park. So I was very much excited to see the species for the first time in the wild. Because it's amazing, it's a nice creature I never seen yet. I found there was very minimal studies done. So uh, I chose Sikkim. My objective was to understand the status of red pandas in protected areas and non-protected areas. So this is justify that the conservation impacts should be more than the By now, I had learned that red pandas existed in temperate forests, at altitudes similar to the Darjeeling Zoo. But scientists have recorded them in areas higher than 4,500 meters above sea level. So Momita and I ended up near Doklam to verify this range. So we are now in Pangula Kawala Sanctuary, which is in 3,500 meter altitude. So this is another suitable habitat for red pandas, which is subalpine forest. This forest consists of hemlock trees, silver fir, and the rhododendron trees as well. Red panda prefers rhododendron trees for roosting purpose. The interesting part is that we are next to the Bhutan border, so the red panda can move easily from Pangulakha to Bhutan and vice versa. Momita's work can be painstaking, but she can count on a helping hand from Sikkim Forest Department guards and local eco-volunteers to track the pandas.
पकड़ने को तो छाई ना नहीं ओन सा ओन सा ओन सा ये ये तो छोट हो ये फ्रेश पहले छोट नहीं ये तो भाई को पेलेट्स हो कि ये तो सिलिंड्रिकल हूँ जा पेलेट्स से ओ अंदर खास से इसको अब वो ये फ्रेश हूँ जा बेसिक तो मालिंग का मेंबर खान जाए इधर छोटे छोटे मालिंग का मेंबर हूँ जा तो खास से ज़्यादातर फाइबर से मालिंग का मेंबर कोई है ना सबसे तब तो नहीं मिलते हैं Oh, so we'll go to save the GPS. Name by IP zero one. Hello. Red panda first time sighting was wild. It was in Juma. It was the first time they developed duty. It was very happy. It was cute. It was just a little bit of a little bit. It was easy to get out of the room. It was easy to get out of the room. It was easy to get out of the room. It was easy to get out of the room. It was easy to get out of the room. It was easy to get out of the room. It was easy to get out of the room. It was easy to get out of the room. What are the disturbances in the red panda habitat? Our century is in the border area. There are two international borders. One is China and the other is Bhutan. जब इंटरनेशनल बॉर्डर की बात आती है तो वहाँ पे आर्मी वगैरह होता है उन लोगों के आने जाने के लिए रोड वगैरह बन जाता है इसलिए रोड की वजह से भी प्रॉब्लम वगैरह ट्रेड वगैरह होता है लेट पड़ने को और एक बहुत ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट वाला तो फेरल डॉग है फेरल डॉग्स ले से ज़्यादा से क्या बनता है जानवर रहो अब जहाँ जैसे आर्मी को कैंप्स आ रहे हैं तो यह कैंप्स में से ज़्यादा तब से फेरल डॉग्स रहो अब पूरा कुकुर रहो उनसे आए तो तेज़ लगा रहा कुकुर रहो अब बाय चांस आर्मी ले खाना दिए ना बने जाए उन्हें जंगल तीर लगे आल से जंगल तीर अगर इजी प्रे रहो बायोलेट पाना � In Sikkim, like in most Himalayan regions, the population of stray dogs is increasing and so are the dangers posed by diseases they can spread to people and wildlife. In the past, stray dogs have been brutally put down, but this is one of India's first programs that's trying to tackle the problem humanely. It's called SARA, or the Sikkim Anti-Rabies and Animal Health Program. <laughs> आर्मी एरिया यहाँ था और आर्मी को कुकुर से यहाँ नहीं रो आउट है सा रो यो ट्रैप से होल्डिंग वाला हो रो हमें रो लाइक खोल दे सा यहाँ लॉक खोले रहते हैं अच्छी कौन से ये वाला से यहाँ सेट कर सा हमें रो ऐसे वायर ले अलग टाइट बांध नो बस जस मज़े कुकुर आओ आए रहते अच्छी कौन दांदा कर दिया � ऐसे ही अंदर ये क्लोज होने से रकूकु ट्रैप में पहुंच सा सारा ऑफिसर्स विल वैक्सिनेट एंड स्टेरिलाइज कैप्चर्ड फेरल डॉग्स टू प्रोटेक्ट इंडेंजर्ड स्पीशीज इन पांगोलाखा लाइक स्नो लेपर्ड्स मास्क डियर एंड द रेड पैंडर्स अप तू नाउ दे हैव डिलीवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट 4000 डिस्टेंपर वैक्सीन्स and spayed close to a hundred thousand dogs. And once operated, they give them a ride home. So, you say, Yaka honor just a recess, we are community dog, Yako, it's a Ramro Gordaresa, Tesselese, Elaze Azu Amile, release Gordia Lego. This must say, Rabu Amile, a light for the song. Good doggy. Two hours away from Pangolakha Wildlife Sanctuary, I reached the Gangtok Zoo, a partner of Darjeeling Zoo's Red Panda Breeding Program. The zoo runs a semi-secret matchmaking effort, but it also hosts a couple of Red Panda show-offs. 
We have three pandas here. Uh, we have Pokchi and her daughters Pema and Zema. Uh, Pokchi is eight years old and her daughters are six. Pema means uh, lotus, Zema means jewel and Pokchi means chubby. Under those huge paws, Pokchi's daughters are hiding their scent glands. The females even use urine to scent mark their territory and communicate their interest to nearby males during breeding season. What are the kind of issues that you're usually dealing with? Uh, Veterinary-wise, we have a lot of rescues that come in in the form of feral dog injured uh, animals like we during breeding season for barking deer and goral and all we get a lot of animals that are beyond salvaging and have you noticed that dogs cause a threat to their pandas yes <laughs> very badly it, not in the zoo mm. but there have been records of panda being hunted by feral dogs in the high altitude areas in the zoo in our scenario it is more of a canine distemper issue people used to think it's only on affecting dogs, dogs yeah. but now you have over 200 species that are affected by canine distemper unfortunately red panda is also one of them the viral infection has hurt the breeding pairs but the vets are hoping strict protocol measures have brought the outbreak under control and that this year the red pandas may have more luck producing offspring. The next stop in our search for wild pandas would take us here, to Sikkim's Shingba Rhododendron Sanctuary in Lachung. But a catastrophic storm made it impossible and showed us how much damage climate change can cause. October 3 call in the morning. It was like that, the dam is going to get the dam. It was like that, we were watching the gate and the dam is going to get the dam. If someone is falling down, someone is falling down, someone is falling down, it was like that. As soon as I went, I was just in a few minutes, it was like that. सुबह आके जब यहाँ देखे तो मने सब मने बर्बाद हो चुका है यहाँ ऊपर तक सब मिट्टी से भरा हुआ है। Uncontrolled construction along the riverbanks and foothills of the eastern Himalayas exposed both people and wildlife to sudden danger. At least 92 people were killed in Sikkim's glacial outburst floods. On Singalila National Park's border with Nepal, we could see how deforestation was fragmenting the red panda's habitat. But these communities have lived here for a long time. My village is a village. हमरो गांव में से गाय आरु पालते हैं अनि तीस को लगी गांव से रु काटने को लगी जंगल जाने पड़ते हैं अनि अब खाना पकाने चूला होती हो अनि तीस को लगी दौरा लीने को लगी बनी जंगल जाने पड़ते हैं सुखा दौरा आरु तेरे में ले आ लाइफ में फर्स्ट टाइम पांडा देखी गा बनी कजे तेरे काका को मैं आगे � रोड क्रॉस करे रहा उड़ा लगा उठिया तीस यू फर्स्ट लाइफ लाइफ में फर्स्ट राइटिंग जे पासांग शेरपा नाउ स्पेंड्स हिस टाइम सर्चिंग फॉर द लास्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स वाइल्ड रेड पांडास एस अ ट्रैकर फॉर विजिटिंग टूरिस्ट्स काम तो मुश्किल द मुश्किल नहीं है दिन में कोटी बनी चौदह पंद्रह किलोमी रेड पंडा मुझे देखे को बंद से ये फायरबॉक्स में काम कर रहे देखे को बंद रहे से हम उसी तरह बंद रहे से था भाई बंद है माला जी बेस्ट पाने को चाहिए अब जो बात यो रूप अब ठारो बाको उनसे नहीं तेरे वाला चाहिए मूवमेंट इस तो गर्दे हिंदे अब इस गर्दे 
movement is easy, or they this movement more than Rambo Laksa. Autumn in Singalila brings with it bright foliage on trees like magnolia and maple, and we were awestruck by mighty trunks of oak and mountain ash. Red pandas usually stay in a one kilometer radius of their small territories. But first you have to find them. Post monsoon, some adults came out to bask in the winter sun. After weeks of looking for red panda signs, Pasang and Nirmal help us find a sleeping beauty. Named aptly after Kung Fu Panda's Master Shifu, this old panda could care less about our presence disturbing his sleep. Grooming and basking to his heart's delight, he's perfectly hidden in his tree roost. And when he's had enough of that, he moves away slowly towards his next snack, berries of the Tenga fruit. This winter, many females have been spotted with cubs, a good sign for the red panda straddling the India-Nepal border and even better for the local trackers who depend on them for their livelihood. I was tricking a lot, but I saw a lot of rare moments. I saw a lot of kids in the house. I saw a lot of kids in the house. I saw a lot of kids in the house. I saw a lot of kids in the house. I heard a lot of kids. Pandakuchala, Panda trekkers ma, aira panda trekking garera poisa common thali kesa ani unar ucha ya batyo poaching pani chodi sa kesa. Mala ucha yo kam se ekdom ei ramro laksa kina ki yo kam le gor da khiri se amila abo income poisa common source pani ubao kesa. Yo gende duha laksa abo panda orayo pani kina ki ami tiv panda gora hai na. अब गौरी खंडे सो है ना कि देखिए तेरे पंडाले हैं मिला है गौर सो उनको लगी है पैसे वाली दे रहे हैं कौन सा है ना That's why wildlife biologist Momita is working so hard to collect data from local trackers and forest guards. Their presence alone keeps poachers away and helps the local community learn how to protect red pandas. So आज बोलेंगे ना तो रेड पंडा देखता था मिला इस तो लगे कि योटा मासूमियत चनी प्यारा से योटा आमलो स्टेट एनिमल हो प्रतिस को संरक्षण करने पर सा वन्य आमलो विचार थी दिल बड़ा मन बड़ा से उसको संरक्षण करने पर सा रा अबू रेड पंडा सौख नुगा आर्थर नहीं अबू जंगल मासिन हो जंगल मासिन पौधे रोड में आऊँ सा पौधे आए में आए में जान सा त्यान के इतिहास र so in my analysis, I have found 70% suitable areas for red pandas is lies in the non-protected areas, covering all the uh, like districts in Sikkim, which should conservation management plan. Mein include honi Climate change also a big factor for the habitat specialist species because they are altering their uh, elevation seasonally. So, I think that yeah, such kind of species we have to uh, include in climate change factors. But for that case, we have to do a little more 
about the species ecology or some of the behavioral ecology. In a secret facility near Darjeeling Zoo, Indian scientists are breeding some of the country's most endangered animals. We have five uh, major species that we concentrate on. Out of those, uh, red panda and snow leopard are uh, the species that we majorly focus on for conservation breeding. Other than that, we have uh, Himalayan newt, a Tibetan wolf and uh, blue sheep. Carefully selected pandas under Pranita's watch will eventually be released from the zoo and back into the wild. And we get a sneak peek of some of the lucky red pandas right before this year's epic releases. So the breeding season starts from January and lasts up till March. So in January, we generally uh, analyze their pedigree who their father was, who their mother is, who their grandfather is. So there is no inbreeding among them. And then put them in uh, suitable pairs and let them mate and breed. And uh, by June, July, they give birth. So right now in the breeding center, we have uh, two pairs of pandas that are suitable to mate with each other. In 2022, we released seven red pandas two males and uh, five females. Before releasing them into the wild, we keep them in the soft release facility, which is in the habitat, so that they get used to the habitat. And after that, uh, we monitor them. And when we feel like they are fit behaviorally to take care of themselves in the wild, then we release them. Out of the five females that were released, three females have mated with uh, wild panda and uh, they've given birth to a total of five cubs. So we did see all the cubs, all the five cubs. We were able to track the mother and the cubs were with them and they were healthy and uh, they were doing well. What is your hope for the red panda species and especially looking at the conservation breeding program? So. It's not just the conservation breeding that is important. Uh, one of the most important things to conserve a species is to maintain their habitat and you know, protect the habitat and continuously improve their habitat. So I hope that uh, side by side, like with the conservation breeding, their habitat also improves so that uh, when we release these animals in the wild, there is a very good chance of them surviving and thriving in the wild and uh, there will be no need for any augmentation in the future if we do it well, like, you know, like now. This grainy spy cam footage of a baby panda waking up from its slumber is a huge sign of success for India's conservation breeding project and for all the new panda families. Playing against the odds, there is hope for some of the world's rarest creatures, living under the world's mightiest mountains. But how long can red pandas hold on to their precarious niche? Only as long as the trees in this cloud forest continue to breathe. Thank 
Timro Antarik Sama Laiso no Malai Pony Timro Tsayama Basu Timbra Ikalpona Bani Aka Sei Body Negari Maya Timi Lai Mogoro La Maya Matro Timi Hasi Maya Hamatro Timi Hasi Saponi Matimi Lai Biponi Matimi Lai Behetera Timi Lai Sam